Ayo, hey, what's good? It's your boy Static, and today's a special occasion. Today's a special occasion because we got Mr. Buffalo versus everybody over here, the Devin Rodriguez. And uh, what you do last week? What you do last week? Uh, might have gotten second at Toronto. Second at Toronto? Yeah. Whoa, that's Small that's event. now now. Tell the people what number mat is this for you? Oh gosh. Princess Matt, this is the second one. That's um, the second one? Second Princess Matt. Okay. Um, yeah, that OTS Championship one was pretty was, was Excellent, first. excellent. <laughs> and uh, what did you play? What did you play at Toronto? We played Dragon Link. No. <laughs> <laughs> we played uh, Snake Eye Cash. All right, all right. Let me, let me see the goo. Let me see the goo. Okay, what you got? Okay. What you got? So, standard ca uh, cash lineup right here. Standard um, cash lineup? Yeah, standard, okay, okay. Standard cash lineup. We got three Snake Eye Ash, one Oak. Double poplar. Okay, okay. Um, Jet Synchro. I love seeing that in my hand. Okay. Uh, Flamberges. The Flamburgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we got, again, Standard. Three Witch. Three D-Bell. Um, three Wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty, pretty standard, pretty standard. One, one, and one. And then a small cash package. Uh, one, one Birth. One Unicorn. Triple Fenrir. This one's kind of hurt. He's, uh. he's 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 bent. I didn't play him. I promise. All right. Don't so, ban me. So so, what are your thoughts on the cast engine and Snake Eyes? Um, I think it's it's pretty solid. Um, helps play through hand traps, uh, except Nib. Except Nib. Yeah. Except Droll. And okay. Uh, my only loss was against Fire King, and he drove me. Because I searched with Fenrir, and I was like, he's not going to have it. He's not going to He had it. He had it. I did the one thing you should never do. Because, but who plays Droll this format? Right. And so, then, yeah. so, hold on, hold on. Back to the cast. So, only because, like, I, uh, the cast stuff is new to me. So, do you think that was, like, the proper ratio? Because I've seen people go, like, more Unicorn or more Birth. Yeah. So, I didn't want to play into Droll. Um, oh, Okay. Even, even though you, even though I, I did, I did. It, it was around like seven. I fell asleep. Um, but I think this is fine. I don't like playing the field self. It plays in control. Um, this I usually side out, so I don't want to see it really. Mm -hmm. um, game one, if I if I lose a die roll, so. So in general, the, is the cast engine just a uh, hand trap bait? Uh, yeah, it's pretty good hand trap bait. Um, and then Fenrir is a, is an insane board breaker. Fenrir is Fenrir. Uh, whether it's the mirror or any rogue matchup. Okay. Okay, so what's uh, what's, 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 what's the guy over here? Uh, then we got double tactics, mm -hmm. uh, triple droplet. I love droplets. Droplets insane in this deck with all the cash cards. Cause you go uh, spec Fenrir, search yeah. the unicorn, droplet send it, summon the unicorn, and then you have all these all these pluses. That's that's actually really strong. I was about to ask like, do you? Uh, lose out on hand advantage with Droplet, but if you have the cash engine, yeah, um, you you plus so much in this deck that, that Droplet's fine. Okay, okay. Um, and then we have a small hand trap lineup. Um, only only eleven hand traps. Only an eleven. Okay. Um, um do you feel like this was the proper non-engine you played? Uh, I used to play two Valor, um, and it was ass. So <laughs> I play three Valor now. Um, okay. It should be more hand traps. I feel like that's the, the change I'm probably going to make. Try and fit more hand traps in here. Um, but you see Valor, you see Imperm, you're just good. You're good. Do you feel like you're you take there. out the, the talents for the uh, more hand traps? Uh, no, I want more 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 talents, more hand traps. But, okay. You know, it's, but because of the cash engine, it's... It's kind of hard. We're already at 41. You're at 41? Okay. 41. Bad, bad, bad. Yeah. Uh, let's, what's that extra look like? All right. Uh, super standard. We got Raging Phoenix, uh, Appaloosa, mm -hmm. Zelantis, mm -hmm. Axis Code, uh, Axis Code minus one, uh, Princess, uh, SP, Phoenix, the two charmers, yep. this guy, that guy, and the synchro lineup. So pretty standard uh, pure snake eyes. Yeah. Um, okay. I don't believe in um, Typhon. I think Axis Code is just way better. You think Typhon like never comes up? Uh, not enough for me, and like I don't want to like stop summoning. If I go into Axis Code, I can get rid of like a floodgate or a big monster, and then mm -hmm. keep playing. Okay. And like you feel like um you only need the one princess. You don't need two. Uh no, I I don't. Sometimes I I don't even go into princess if I if I have like the synchros up and like uh, end on 
Baron plus Appaloosa. Yeah. You don't you don't even need Princess. Okay. Yeah. Like what's just super recursion. No, what would you say would be like your standard end board? Like what's the go to end board? Um probably Fenrir this is this is the most common end board. It was Fenrir plus uh, IP in the back row, Flamberge and Savage with like birth. Mm -hmm. Um and yeah, that's that's insane to play against. And that's also just one Snake Eyes Ash? Uh, Snake Eyes Ash plus... The Fenrir? Fenrir, yeah. Okay. Okay, shoot, shoot, shoot. What's the uh, what's the side looking like? Um, sides are okay. Got two Bell, because uh, I don't like Voiceless. Okay. Two Crow, because I can't play Vistials. Um, you can't team. play Vistials? Yeah, can't really play Vistials. With the oh, because of the cash. cash. Yeah. Same reason why I can't play Nib. Um, I might change that. I might not. I feel like um, Nib is like so strong, where it's like, if you draw Nib or Fenrir, you're still like chilling, right? Yeah, that's the thought process. Like going forward, I might put nibs in, see if it works. Um, but like, I know I'll draw nib Fenrir. I'd be <laughs> very upset. Very upset. Understandable. Um, and then we got the outs to the stun guys. Yup, yup. And more outs to the stun guys. Yup, yup. You have to. Yeah, I'm not having fun. They're not gonna have fun. <laughs> uh, another talents for going first. Okay. Uh, two lullaby. Um, it's okay. I lost the only game I started this in. Do you think Lullaby is better than a cross out? I, I don't know how to use Lullaby. I don't think we'll move on, we'll move on, we'll move on, we'll move on, we'll move on. And then the three engine requirements. Okay, okay. Uh, summon limit. Now, very dumb question. Yeah. Summon limit over anti spell? Of course, yeah. I can play uh, I can play through some uh, anti spell pretty easily. Okay. Um, but you flip a summon limit against most matchups, you just throw it on them and they yeah, they just can't do anything. Can't do anything. Shoot. Um, yeah. All right. So what was the uh, what's the matchup looking like? It was nine rounds, right? Nine rounds. I played against Centurion, uh, Snake Eyes, uh, Voiceless, um, two Vanquished Souls. One was Santoli. Um, what the the Santoli? The Santoli. Exo Sister yeah. guy. Yeah, Exo Sister guy. He he died because I summoned Fenrir, and like he he thought I was playing Cash, but, <laughs> but I wasn't playing Cash. Excellent. So he sided in all board breakers, and then I set up a board that does not lose. Wait, all he saw one game was just Fenrir. He saw I summoned Unicorn. He popped it. I summoned Fenrir right after, and then he negated it. So I scooped. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's so, funny. Yeah, full Snake Eye board kind of threw him off. Okay. Um, then I played uh, Fire King and Dragon Link in the final round, where I got my free win. You got your free win from yeah, Dragon Link. Free win from Dragon Link. Dang, that's. I wonder who your Dragon Link player was. I don't know. What, what the opponent was. Like you think? Did you two owe him? Uh, I kind of two owed him, but he threw one game, and then I just cooked him one game. Damn, I yeah. feel, it'd, be, it'd be really ashamed if like. Yeah, if he was on he my was, team or something. If he was like on your team or something, if he was yeah, like somewhere, crazy. somewhere in the room. Real fortunate. So, what was your Easiest matchup that day and your hardest matchup? Um, so my hardest matchup was probably against Santoli. Um, because his the board he set up going first with Vanquish Soul was, was unbreakable. It was it, really it was pretty crazy. <laughs> it was actually pretty crazy. He had all all the big guys out. He had um, the one that searches and then three set back row and I was like, oh god. And then game three, he just had so much recursion that like we went to little grind game. Oh, okay. it was like top deck war after that. Um, the easiest one was probably the Centurion matchup. Really? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't calamity lock me. Um, yeah. What do you mean they? Th that's the whole point of the deck. They just didn't. They they let me go. Talents take, and I talents took. <laughs> understood understood you know we don't we keep it pushing we keep it pushing all right shoot uh you got any shout outs you want to say um no <laughs> can you explain that field center oh this is my hero my biggest hero and on that note thank you devin for another uh top eight deck profile um catch up boys later peace there we go there we go there we go there we go